Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this screencast, I'd like to show you how to create an advanced action um, using Adobe Captivate's drag and drop uh, functionality. What I would really like to do is, in this drag and drop interaction, when, I, when the user drags a label to the correct spot, I'd like for this green check mark to display. And when the user drags the incorrect label to this, the dragger target, I'd like the red X to dis display. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use an advanced action set. And the way to do that is we go up to project and then click advanced actions. So the first thing we're going to do is set up two actions, one for correct and one for incorrect. And then we're going to apply those actions to the actual targets. So click on our advanced actions and let's go ahead and give it a name. First one we're going to do is the correct action. And we just come right down here into the white, the first line and double click on it. And it gives us a few options that we can choose from. I like to find the one that says show and hide. Let's first do the hide option. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hide our alert and correct. Now that's the name I gave that red X, um, that's the graphic on my stage, as I called it alert and correct. So we're gonna hide that. And then the next thing we do is double click right below it and we're going to show the alert correct. We're going to save that as an action. Once it's saved, click OK and then click close. Just so you can see how I labeled these, these two graphics. My red X, I named alert incorrect right here and that way I was able to reference that in my action. And then here's my correct. I was able to label that as alert correct. Now I can position these where I want. Notice also that the visible and output, I turned, I unchecked that so that it does not show as from default on Adobe Captivate when I publish it. If it were checked, it's going to display as soon as I publish my movie, but I want to make sure that's unchecked so that these do not show. Okay, so I've set up my advanced action. I've got my graphics to not show when I publish, and I've given them the names that are appropriate there. Next thing I'll do is I'll go to my drag and drop tab. I'll wanna select each one of my targets separately. So first I'll do the option area two, and I'm gonna click on the drop target area. I'm gonna click on this accept button. What we need to do is any time that someone drags a label to this target, I need to say if it's correct or incorrect and, and then basically draw on that advanced action that we already set up. So I know this is my option number two area, so I know my draggers two is gonna be the correct. I'm gonna click on that no action for the action piece there. And I'm gonna go out and select my execute advanced actions and then select my correct option that I created and click OK. Now I have not set up my incorrect one but I would do the exact same thing for the incorrect there. And I, actually let's go ahead and just do that really quick right now to advanced actions. We're going to go set up the incorrect one now. Incorrect, give it a name, double click on the actions line here. We're going to say hide and since this is the incorrect one, we want to hide the correct graphic and we're going to go and show the correct graphic. Save as action, click OK, click Close. Now we'll go back to our option area 2 and go on Accept. When it accepts draggers number 1, we want to be able to tell the user that that's incorrect. So we're going to execute Advanced Action and choose the incorrect option click OK, click OK again, and now this particular target should work properly for us. Let's go ahead and test it. We'll go and publish it as a project. And if we go label number two, it shows our green check mark, which is correct. And if I take a label number one that's not supposed to go here, it does not work. Let's go ahead and see what we did wrong. 
execute advanced actions for draggers one. That says incorrect. Let's go check our action. We go project advanced actions. And we're going to go back into our incorrect option. And we see that we did the wrong one here. We said show correct. Double click on that. We're going to show incorrect. Update our action and click close. Go to project and now it should work. And if something doesn't work, just, just go ahead and just troubleshoot it and see which what you messed up. Just kind of backtrack and you should be able to figure it out. Target two looks good. Option one is incorrect. Option two correct. Option one incorrect. And you see that's how it works. So in this tutorial, I've showed you how to execute advanced actions using Adobe Captivate 7 and using it in particular within our drag and drop interactions. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks a lot.